Okay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay, before we start at your pray. Our heavenly and merciful Father God, who loves us, thank you for giving us a wonderful chance to study Bible together with our sincere brothers. Before that we were sinners as to hell, but now we got saved through the blood of Jesus Christ. So we are really thankful to the Lord. And as a Christian who got saved, we are willing to learn your will. So please open our heart so that we may understand the true meaning of Bible. And please give knowledge and humble mind so that we may understand the, your will. The Lord, we know that the, your coming is the very near. So before you are coming, the please the let us do our best to preach gospel to many people who are not saved or others. The, without your help, no, no one comes to know what God's will really is exactly. So please guide and help us through the, your word. And please the, let us understand the words of God today. And please give a new power and strength to each brother. From the beginning to the end, please be with us and guide us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, passage of today, the Matthew chapter 10, the verse 1. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 10, verse 1 until 4. Okay, so the continually that we are learning the Matthew chapter 10 because uh, there are many various the teachings uh, that's why the, we have to learn the in detail. Okay, from verse 1 to 4, uh, let me read. And when the head called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power of unclean spirit to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. And now the names of the twelve apostles are these. The first, the Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, and James, the son of the Zebedee, and John his brother, the Philip and the Bartholome, and Thomas and Matthew the tax collector, the James the son of the Arpaios, and the Rebaios, the whose surname was uh, Thaddaeus, the Simon, the Canaanite, the Canaanite, and the, who the, the Judas is Carot, the who also betrayed him. And Proverbs chapter 23, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 23. Please open your Bible. Proverbs chapter 23. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 23. 23, verse 23. Okay, read us read together. Abide the truth and do not sell it. Also, wisdom and instruction and understanding. Okay. And so, please look at the handout. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Remember it. Lest there be any the fornicator or the profane person like Esau, who for one, the morsel of food sold his the birthright. The birthright. Okay, so the, today the main topic is the Proverbs chapter 23, verse 23. Buy the truth and do not sell it. So uh, let's think about the, this today. So the, this main, uh, these three kinds of the main chapters and verses are connected. Uh, that's why uh, we are thinking about uh, together. Okay, so throw the handout that you have. Okay, look at the page one. 
It is natural that we are buying and selling in this world. However, there is a thing we must not buy and there is a thing we must not sell. But the people are foolish so that they may buy or sell what they must not do. There are many examples about people who had bought what they must not buy. At the same time, there are many examples about people who had sold what they must not sell. The eleven disciples of Jesus had sold the physical things and had the garden Jesus. But Judas is cut out to betray Jesus for physical things. The original word of that, the one who sold Jesus, is the paradox. The paradidomi is the compound word with the para, the means beside, and the didomi, the means giving. It means that giving, the selling, and transferring. Okay, so anyway, the Bible said, the Proverbs chapter 23, verse 23, the buy the truth and do not sell it. Yeah, so the, we can see the buying and selling, right? So Bible said that we have to buy truth, which means we have to gain truth. We have to get the truth. But we must not sell the truth, which means the truth is most important. But as an example, there are many examples uh, about the people who had uh, the bought the truth, but uh, also there are many examples about the people who had sold about the truth. So as a representative, the one person is written in the Bible, the Judas is cut out. The instead of truth, yeah, he tried to gain the money, the coin, the silver coins, right? So the Jesus is the truth himself. That's why John chapter 14, verse 6, uh, Jesus said himself, that I am the truth and life, and uh, I am the truth, I am the way, the truth, and life. Yeah, no one come to the Father by except me. Yeah. The Jesus said himself, I am the way, I am the truth, yeah. I am the life. So Jesus is truth himself, but uh, Judas is carried that he sold truth, right? The Proverbs Bible said, do not sell it. Then we can think that who can sell truth? But there are many people who are selling the truth. Like uh, Judas is cattle. The, this, the miserable situation is being happened in our generation also. The, there are many people who are selling the truth to get their physical things, right? So as a representative, the one person was written in the Bible, yeah, Judas is cattle, because he sold the truth. Because he betrayed Jesus and he sold Jesus with silver coins because Jesus is truth himself, right? Yeah. Uh, that's why the, we have to think about this. Uh, okay, the A, let's think about the Judas is carrot. Yeah, the one who sold Jesus. So, another meaning, the one who sold truth, right? The same meaning, right? Yeah. Because Jesus is truth himself. Yeah. So the, from now on, please think about like this concept. The Jesus is truth himself. Okay, number one. The beginning of his ministry was good. The Judas Karo, the he was called by Jesus as a disciple, right? So the, his, his beginning was good, like another disciples, like Peter, like James, like John. Because uh, Jesus that gave a chance to him to be used by God as an instrument for gospel. So the beginning of his ministry was good. The no one expected that uh, Judas the will betray Jesus. No one expected. And also, as you know well, the, his, the part words, uh, keeping the money box. The, the not everyone can have uh, this the, uh, the work because the, if the, we cannot if we cannot trust in some someone we cannot the, ask them to keep the money right so why the people are uh, saving the money in bank why because people trust in the bank rather than people right uh, rather than the 
the cash container in house. That's why if someone has a big money, he tried to the save the money in the bank. So like this, the maybe uh, the we can guess that the Judas Iscariot he was trusted the, by another people. That's why the, he the kept the money box. But what happened? Uh, he stole. Hmm? He stole the money. The, anyway, he was God's uh, creation. Uh, uh, he was God's creature who has spirit and conscience. And he had a chance, uh, he had a change, uh, the wrong typing here, sorry. He had a chance, yeah, please change to chance. He had a chance to live for the glory of the Lord. The glory, of, the glory was given to him. If he had accepted the Savior, uh, it was not happened to him. The chance to receive Christ was given to him many times. The, when he saw Jesus, the, maybe he was surprised. However, even though he saw everything about him, he was stubborn continually. Actually, the Judas is cut out the, for three and a half years the, during the, um, the public the walk of Jesus. The, he saw the many miracles of Jesus directly in front of Jesus. Even though he saw many miracles, but he didn't believe in Jesus. The, which means... Um, this is not the main topic today. The miracle is the miracle that is not guarantee of salvation. Even though someone saw the miracle, but look, oh, please look, the Judas is cut off. Even though he saw many miracles of Jesus, that's why was he saved? No. Even though he saw the many miracles from Jesus, but he didn't believe in truth. That's why Jesus said, John chapter 8, verse 32, truth shall make you free. We can be saved by truth, not miracle. And Satan also can show the miracles, right? Yeah. So, the, also we can think about like this. Next page, page 2. He got the small greed at first time. Yes, actually, uh, not everyone, uh, every person, the every man are not perfect, right? Yeah. So we have the sinful nature. Also, Judas is cut off. Uh, maybe also he had his own weakness. His weakness was money. So according to the brothers and sisters, and according to the people, our weakness are different, right? Someone is weak about the money. Someone is weak about the girl. Someone is weak about the honor. Yeah. So weakness is different. The Judas is cut out. His weakness was the money. Yeah. So at first time, the, his greedy mind was small, the size. But as you know well, that if we don't control the greedy mind, that greed is growing, right? Okay, look at here. But he was the gathering great thief, little by little. The since he kept the money box and stolen the money, and he became the one who sold Jesus. Little by little, he stolen the money from the money box. Little by little. So finally, he sold Jesus. At first, yeah. the small sin. But little by little, the small sin is getting the bigger. And finally, he sold Jesus. That's why uh, the whenever we notice a small sin in my life, the, we have to kill immediately. That's why the Bible said, catch real fox. The little fox, at first time, the fox is little, but the Bible said, catch real fox. Why? The real fox will be uh, adult, right? Then that fox will uh, defile the vine yard. The joy Bible said, catch little fox. So whenever we notice the small sin in our life, we have to remove quickly. We have to solve. But if we just 
the, if we don't care about this, that sin is growing, and later, the more big matter will come to our life. Okay, so we have to control at first. So James chapter 1 verse 15, maybe you know this verse well. Then, when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. The desire and sin and death. So sin uh, begins uh, from the desire of our heart. So the law of spiritual gravity. Yeah, so as you know, with the, the law of gravity, so all, every things are falling down, right? Yeah, under the ground, uh, the under the ground. Yeah. So gravity. So this is a power. Yeah. So the law of spiritual gravity. The when the material falls down, the speed will be the faster, real by real. So small grade will improve, real by real. Finally, it will cause a destruction. Yeah. First time, the temptation is only small size but if we accept the temptation real by real the temptation will be getting bigger and then finally we can fall down and that damage is very big damage in my life yeah. so as our brothers in the church though we have to be careful because always satan is satan try to attack you spiritually through the temptation, uh, through the sin, yeah. because Satan knows the what weakness of brothers. Yeah. Some brothers is weak about the money. Some brother is weak about the woman and girl. Some brother is weak about the TV and sports. But if you accept the real by real, yes. What will happen? The temptation will grow from your heart. And the temptation will be enemy to you that will catch you if you don't catch them. Right? Yeah. Please think about the David and Samson and Solomon. All of them, they fell down because of woman. They didn't control their heart. So how big damage happened to them? Yeah. Samson, because of woman, what happened? His two eyes was plucked out. And power was gone away. How about the David? Because of woman, he committed adultery. So what happened? His baby was dead. And until his death, he had received many chastisements until his death. Solomon, the because of woman, the nation of Israel was divided in two. How big damage? Yeah, this is true. That's why James 2 and verse 15, then when desire has conceived, it gives bring to sin, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, bring forth death. That's why we have to be careful. Yeah. Also, as a brothers, we're smoking and drinking and gambling, Hey, only one time. It's okay. Is it okay in front of God? Not okay. But if we accept little by little, smoking and drinking and gambling, yes, maybe no one knows about this. I will do myself when I am alone. No one see. God will see. And God looks everything. Little fox. That we have to kill. The Judas is cut out. He didn't control his greed. That's why? Yeah. How about the, his destination? Yeah. Eternal fire because he didn't control his life. How big damage. So small greed will improve the real by real. Finally, it will cause a destruction. So present can define future. The, what does this mean? Yeah. According to the, our life today, Tomorrow will be different, and next week will be different, 
and next year will be different. Our eternal life also will be different according to the life and according to choice, according to the, our deed today. So today defi defined tomorrow. The destiny is at our hand. He was not supposed to be destructed at first time, but his wicked heart will make him to betray Christ finally. So our deed can define our future. The we must not is excuse the reason why I have committed sin to God. This is my responsibility. No one can excuse. Number three, finally he sold Jesus. So which means uh, when he sold Jesus, it was not accident. So which means his greed mind already was grown from the, his inside. So later his real motivation was revealed. Yeah. Also David, when he had committed sin, yeah. he didn't commit a sin by accident because little by little he became lazy. Little by little, he didn't get up early. So when he committed sin, he got up afternoon. He didn't join in battle. He didn't join in the battle of God. At that time, he fell down. That's why whenever we notice a signal about the mind's spiritual condition, that we have to control the quickly. So we must not excuse the reason why uh, I have committed sin to God. So finally he sold Jesus. He became the product of Satan. Yes, he was used by Satan. Huh? How miserable. He was called by God as a disciple, but he was used by Satan. He followed the will of Satan. How miserable. How shameful. He got many chances to repent, but he didn't repent. Uh, okay, look at me. Also, Judas also had uh, the mistake, right? And also, the Peter also had mistaken. The Peter denied Jesus three times. And also, Judas betrayed Jesus. So, actually, in fact, both of them were wicked at the time. But what was different? Judas, he was a regret. Peter, he was a regret. Yes, both of them, they were regret. But what was different? Judas, he didn't return to Jesus. But Peter, he returned to Jesus. That's why he was recovered. But Judas, he was a regret. Yes, maybe he was crying, but he didn't return. What is a real repentance? Crying? In front of brothers and sisters? In front of pastors? No. What is the real repentance? Turning back to God from the sin. Even though we are crying in front of people, but still we are enjoying the sin silently, more big sin in front of God. Because no one can deceive God. People can be deceived by crying. But God never be deceived. God knows the meaning of crying. Is this real crying? Is this fake crying? As a father, you know this. Why? Baby. Do you know the two kinds of tears? Fake tears? He is not crying, but he tried to cry. But no crying, no tears. To get something, right? But what is real crying? If father or mother are hidden, he cannot see anyone. At that time, he's crying, really, with a tear. Also, baby, you know there is a fake tear? God really wants real repentance. The Judas, he was a regret. The Bible said he was a regret, but he didn't repent. Okay, so the Judas uh, became the masterpiece of Satan. Judas Iscariot 
And Jewish people at the time of Jesus, because they killed Jesus on the cross, they crucified Jesus. And the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and Haman at the time of uh, Esther, right? That he had a plan to destroy, destroy Israel. You know, they became the masterpiece of Satan. They were used by Satan. How shameful. Number four, he was able to see the divine and power and authority of Jesus. Personality of him, the power of him, and love of him, he saw. And he saw the love of the uh, word of the law that is perfect without any fault. And he saw the power of the Lord. Yeah. His content of achievement of Bible, the, even though he was taught by Jesus for three and a half years, but he betrayed him. Now, this is a very important lesson to brothers and sisters. Why? Even though we are joining the ceremony time every Sunday, every Wednesday, but among the brothers and sisters, even though they have joined many fellowship, but they disobey bravely. Like Judas. Even though he had learned many things from Jesus, but he betrayed Jesus. Even though we are learning about the obedience, but we disobey bravely. This situation can happen in our life. It means we are selling the truth. Yes, we can sell the truth, which means we can exchange Jesus, we can exchange Christian life to another things. It was amazing that amazing thing that the heaven and earth also can be surprised. Also, animal is not like him. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3, the ox knows its honor and the donkey its master's creep. Animal also knows who is owner. The which means the, the, uh, the one who disobey is like uh, the, the, one, the, the one who disobey is a wicked. Yeah. Their life is more miserable rather than animals. Yeah. The Bible said, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. And 5. However, uh, his eyes were closed. Even though he saw the power of the Lord, but his eyes were closed. His spiritual eyes were closed. Lustful mind blocked him, and worldly the greed the block him. If we have uh, the idols in my heart, then we cannot choose the God's way. We cannot see God's way. Amazingly, it will be hidden. This as a shadow, the God the took the two eyes of Samson. So if we have uh, some hidden sin in my heart, Amazingly, we don't know what God's will is. That's why we can make mistakes again and again. Because our life became darkness. That's why we don't know what is God's will, what is God's way, what is the best way. That's why we can choose wrong way because of the idols in my heart. Yeah. Mm. So, okay, look at the handout here. The lust of mind block him and worldly greed the block him. Page three. Okay, page 3, number 6, the word of the Lord about him. Okay, let's open your Bible, Matthew chapter 26, verse 24. 
Okay, 2 to the 26 for 24. Matthew chapter 26 verse 24. Okay, let me read. The Son of Man indeed goes just as it is written of him, but all to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been good for that man if he had not been born. Jesus the said about the Judas is cut up. But he said, uh, it would have been good for that man if he had not been born. So why did Jesus say like this? Yeah. Let's think about it. Hmm? And this verse is very also important whenever you evangelize, yeah. uh, especially the, the brother leaders, Why Jesus said like this? Yeah, the next the paragraph. It means that there is eternal fire. Where did he go? Where did he go? Judas is cut off. Where? Hmm? Eternal fire, right? He went to the hell. He went to the hell. That's why Jesus said. It would have been good for that man if he had not been born. Why? Because he went to eternal fire. Because he didn't return to the Lord, he was not saved. And through this verse, we can get several lessons. Because uh, many people believe that uh, after death, there, there will be some middle place uh, before we go to the heaven. Yeah, especially the, the Catholic Church, the purgatory, right? Yeah. So they believe that there will be middle part before they go to the heaven or hell. And nowadays, their doctrine is being updated, do you know? So nowadays, they said, this world is purgatory. Yeah. So anyway, well, this is not main topic today. Through this verse, we come to know that there, there is no middle part. The why they made this doctrine, the purgatory? Because they believe that even though we die with sin, if we do our best or if we pray for the dead, then from the middle part, they can be brought to the hell, heaven, right? Yeah. So they are... Uh, many are teaching like this, also many are believing the like this. So if the Judas the, had a chance to come out from the hell, why Jesus said like this about him, right? If he had a chance to come out from the hell and from the eternal judgment, Jesus had to say like this, yeah, even though he died without salvation, yeah, I hope he will come out. But there is no chance. That's why Jesus said, it would have been good for that man if he had not been born. Why? There is no middle part. After death, there is judgment on. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Hebrews chapter 9, uh, verse 27. He reads chapter 9, verse 27. Remember it. And as it is appointed for man to die once, but after this, the judgment. Yeah, very clear answer. Uh, especially the, the brother leaders, the, whenever you have a chance to the counsel with some the listeners, uh, especially, the, you can have a m many chance to meet the Catholic members, right? Actually, the, in their heart, many things are mixed. 
So we have to the, the take out wrong teaching from their heart. Then Holy Spirit can help them to be saved exactly. But without this process, if we try to put gospel quickly, they cannot be saved. Just they will agree with knowledge. Yes, that is true. But in the heart, many things are mixing. But they don't open. That's why the inviter or the counselor, pastors can be deceived. So we have to do our best to break all wrong teaching first in their heart. Then they can repent. What is the meaning of the repentance? The for salvation. For salvation, repentance is how many times? Several times, one time. Repentance for salvation, one time. Then what is a repentance? Meaning of repentance. So if, ask, if someone asks you, what is a repentance? How do you show, how do you answer? How to answer? This is a clear answer here. Isaiah chapter 55. Chapter 55, verse 7. Fifty-five, verse seven. Seven. Okay, read three together. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, and He will have mercy on him, and to our God, for He will abundantly pardon. Yes, the wicked. Let the wicked. Forsake his way. The what is the who are who is the wicked here? Unbelievers, right? Unsaved people. Let the wicked forsake his way. Why? To return, which means without forsaking his way, they cannot return. They seems, uh, they looks, they already return to the Lord by lips. But from heart, they didn't return. If they don't forsake his way, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Wrong way and wrong thoughts. They have to throw away first. Wrong thought, wrong way. Then let him return to the Lord. Before they return to the Lord, what should they do? They have to throw away wrong thoughts. This is not easy. That's why we need a counseling. Because a Bible seminar uh, is uh, just two hours, sometimes more two and 20 minutes, not enough to explain fully. The Bible seminar, focus of Bible seminar is for all, not the personal. But the personally, the, according to the listeners, their knowledge and their thinking and their misunderstanding are same or different? Same or different? Different. And that's why we need a counseling. We need a counseling. Very important. That's why whenever we have a Bible seminar, and as much as possible, we have to help our listeners to have a counsel, if possible. Yeah, well, if, well, among the listeners, someone is very shy to have a counsel, well, in this case, the well, best option is that to help them to listen to the Bible seminar, right? Yeah. But uh, if possible, uh, to those who are attending the Bible seminar, well, the after the sin session and after gospel session, and or well, before sin session also. If you notice that uh, he had uh, many, some confusion, and also he need the uh, counseling, then at first time also he need the uh, counseling. Then he can listen to the Bible seminar more the, carefully. Anyway, so inviters also have to check the, what is his wrong thoughts, what is his wrong uh, thinking. That's why we have to know information about 
them. Uh, is he the Catholic? Is he Christianity? Where is he going now? And now what uh, is he doing now? So we need information. So if we know information, before counseling, we can uh, share this information to counselors, right? Then counseling will be more effective if we know information in advance. So we need a cooperation. Yeah. The evangelism is not easy. Yeah. The evangelism is not the instant food. So do you know instant food? Like Jollibee, very fast, right? Order, pain, and manok. Well, five minutes now. Sometimes 10 minutes, very fast. That's why the customers are satisfied. Why? Very fast result. Evangelism is not like this. We need the endurance. We need the endurance. Yeah. If we are hurry to the let them be saved, the which means anyway that we have to do our best. But if we are hurry without the God's help, just we can make religious people, not real Christian. The purpose of evangelism is to the purpose of evangelism is not to make religious person, right? The purpose of evangelism is to help them to be saved through work of Holy Spirit. That's why we have to let the Holy Spirit work. This is very important. That's why we need uh, the brothers education the, the whenever the, I prepare the sermon uh, the topic are different but uh, if you listen carefully the, there are the tips of evangelism uh, through the, also my experience and also through the also experience of another senior pastors so if you take a note carefully then you can get many wisdom about the evangelism also, I am learning. Also, I have to learn. There are many things I don't know. That's why also I have to learn. Yeah. So we have to learn together again and again. Yeah. Then also our evangelism can be improved. So anyway, so let's go back again. The handout, Matthew chapter 26. So through this verse, uh, also we come to know that there is no middle part. Yeah. The before I had uh, experience to have a counseling with uh, some person. Yeah. So the, the I saw the, this verse. Yeah. At the time, the, she understood. Yeah. Okay. Mm, number seven. The Lord was watchful to the wicked. And Judas had heard that Jesus proclaimed the curse to Pharisees. And chance of repentance was given to him when they had supper. Eight, however, he chose the way to be against the Lord forever. Yes, many times Jesus gave a chance to repent, right? Because Jesus already gave a hint. Someone will betray him. Why, do you know why Jesus said like this? To give a chance. Okay, look at me. Maybe when Judas heard about this, how about the, the reaction of Judas in his heart? Well, the, his mind was not written. Well, I don't know. Well, how about the, his feeling? Whenever we listen to the sermon, sometimes we can feel that Oh, why pastor is talking about this to me? <laughs> Even though pastor didn't prepare for him. Yeah, this is a voice of Holy Spirit. Because a teacher of Holy Spirit, right? Oh, this ceremony is for me? Yes, yeah, for you. Why are you reading the ceremony? For another or for you? For me, right? So if you feel that, oh, this ceremony is for me. If you feel like that, yeah, you are a good listener. This is evidence that you are listening carefully. 
every ceremonies are for me. At times, sometimes we can be surprised. How does God know my heart? Why God open your heart now? Do you know why? Because God hates you? Because God wants to destroy you? Because God wants to break your Christian life? That's why God opened your weakness, God opened your hidden sin now? Because God hates you? If you think like this, you have the big misunderstanding. Why Jesus opened about this? Someone will betray me. Why? To give a chance to repent. Am I right? Yes, that's why whenever we listen to the sermon, we can notice my weakness and my hidden sin. This is God's grace. But someone has a misunderstanding. Preacher, maybe preacher, hates me. There is no reason preacher hates brothers and sisters. The role of preacher is delivering God's message. Uh, sometimes uh, whenever the, uh, I have a Bible seminar, as an example, I like to use about this. There are two hospitals, Hospital A, Hospital B. Yeah. Hospital A, always the doctor is, is telling with good sound, yes, you are good, you will be better, no problem. That's why the patients like to go there because doctor is saying with good sound. But hospital B, always doctor is saying truth. I'm sorry to tell, but you have a cancer. You have to have operation quickly. But hospital A, he likes to share good sound. Even though he knew, he knows that the patient has a sickness, he does not open. Just give us some uh, the medicine. Yeah. Even though they need the operation. Yeah. If you take this medicine, you will, be, you will be good. Who is a real doctor? And who is a good doctor? The doctor who share good sound only or doctor who share truth? Who is a real doctor? Huh? The doctor who shares Truth, right? Yeah. So we have to give a sense to me why. We meet real church. Why? Hmm? Always we can listen truth. Also about me, we can feel that God knows exactly about me, right? You don't feel? Whenever you listen to the sermon, you don't feel that the God knows you? If you got saved, you feel that God knows you. Sometimes we can surprise. How does God know? Wow, today's topic is for me. At times we can feel that God is with me. This is God's grace. But someone has a misunderstanding. Church hates me. Always church is opening my sickness, my weakness. My hidden sin. Why? Maybe church hates me. How big misunderstanding. In Israel, always by prophet, the God pointed out their sin. Why? Because is God hated Israel? No. If we read the Bible, God's love is not changed. Their mind is changed. God's grace never be changed. Their life are changed in front of God. God's grace, God's mercy, God's love, still the same. Problem is my heart. My heart is changed. He never be changed. Yeah. That's why they thought that uh, through the Moses, God brought us in wilderness to kill. Why you? have brought to earth from Egypt. It is much better to die in Egypt. In Egypt, also there is a food, but here no food, no water. So they had a misunderstanding that God wants to kill Israel people. And God thought that, uh, they thought that God is wilderness. That's why if we read Jeremiah, God said, when 
I was wilderness to you. Am I wilderness to you? Because they thought God is wilderness. That's why God was so angry to them, right? Yes. The God's mercy is not changed. So Judah is cut off. Even though he the committed sin, if he returned to God's mercy, that is not changed. He could be saved, right? He could be recovered, but he didn't return. Yeah. So as a Christian, sometimes we can fall down because of the second, uh, weakness and mistake and sin. At the time, what should we do? We have to return to the Lord. Hmm? Then God will the recover. Mm. The, number eight, the, however, he chose the way to be against the Lord forever. He was more stubborn person rather than King Pharaoh in Egypt. The, maybe there is no one who is more stubborn rather than Judas Iscariot. Why? He didn't repent. There will be second Judas and third Judas again and again. There are many Judas Iscariot in this world. They continue to sell truth, right? He was against Jesus and he belonged to part of and mighty of Jesus. Okay, number nine, he chose the way of suicide and he was brought to hell. Prophecy about Judas in Psalms and Acts already got prophesied that he will uh, be brought to the eternal fire. The omniscience God wrote about him in the Bible in advance. Omniscient. Yeah. So the omni or science. So if we combine, so omniscient, the which means God knows everything. And omnipresence. What is omnipresence? The presence, which means uh, staying. The location. So omnipresence means God is everywhere. And omniscience, omniscience means, omniscient means God knows everything. So God knew about Judas in advance. That's why he wrote in advance about him. So we call this omniscient. Omniscience. So omniscient God. So uh, he was the one who was far from the Lord and drew near to Satan. He who uh, he was the one who was far from the Lord and the due near to world and money. He threw away his ministry and he was toward to him, toward to hell himself. He has been cursing from generation to generation until now. He will be shameful forever. He is representative one who saw Jesus. Okay, next page. Page four. Okay, B. Those who have expensive dealing. Okay. Not only Judas, but also another people, uh, they sold truth. They sold God's will. Expensive dealing. Expensive dealing. So, which means, for example, if we buy some the expensive things, we have to pay expensive money, right? Yeah. So, in the Bible, there are expensive dealing. What? The representative person is Esau. He sold birthright. For what? For food. How foolish. So expensive dealing. Hmm? Okay, let's open Bible, your Bible. Genesis chapter 25, verse 31. Genesis chapter 25, verse 31. Genesis chapter 25, verse 31 to 34. 25, verse 31, and 34, remember it. But Jacob said, Sell me your birthright as of this day. And Esau said, Look, I am about to die, so what is this, the birthright to me? Then Jacob said, Swear to me as of this day. So he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. 
And Jacob gave Esau the bread and stew of the rentils that he ate and drank, arose and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Yeah, birthright. He sold the birthright to uh, his brother Jacob. So what is this birthright? Jacob became Israel, right? So later, the Esau was so regret, right? The, you know, if we read the Bible, the later when he noticed that, well, what did I do? When he noticed that uh, he had a mistake about this, he was regret, but the chance was not given to him anymore. This chance was gone away. Already, birthright was given to Jacob. With what he changed, exchange. He exchanged birthright to what? Food. Hmm? Bread. For bread, he sold birthright. Yeah. So sometimes uh, we conducted a Bible seminar, so whenever we invited someone, sometimes someone rejected to come. The reason is that because of baboy, the pig, I have to feed because of uh, the dog. Uh, he will starve. No one can care sometimes because of uh, chickens, because of blah, blah, blah. Cow. So I cannot listen. Yeah. He, they sold Jesus because of animals. How foolish. We have to think about carefully, right? How foolish. In their heart, animals are more important later than truth. That's why the Bible said, don't sell it. By truth. Even though we have to spend much money, we have to get truth. Why? Truth is more important later than money. That's why the Bible said buy. The buying means we have to spend, right? We have to spend. Salvation is free. But to get the salvation, we need effort to know the truth, right? We need effort to come to the Bible seminar to listen. Yeah. That's why the Bible said, buy the truth. Which, which means, no one can be saved by accident. Am I right? No one can be saved by accident. We have to buy, which means, at least we need effort to listen. Without listening, who can be saved? Bible said, even though Jesus came to this world as a light, but the Bible said people like darkness rather than light. That's why they didn't come to Jesus. Why? They liked darkness. So John chapter 5 verse uh, 39. Yeah. Please open the Bible. John chapter 5 verse 39. Remember it? You search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and these are they which testify of me. But 14, verse 14, read us read together. But you are not willing to come to me that you may have life. Yes. If they don't come to Jesus, they cannot be saved, right? Do you, do you understand? Which means if they don't buy truth, they cannot be saved. Also, as a Christian also, if we don't buy the truth, we cannot grow. Right? To know God's will, what should we do? We have to come to church. We have to open the Bible. We have to read the Bible. We have to meditate the Bible. We have to pray. We have to sacrifice. There are many things we have to do. 
No one can grow accident by accident. Yeah. Like conservation. Hmm? Okay, let's return handout. The Ezer and uh, the Elliot. First Chronicles, pl please open your Bible. First Chronicles chapter 7. The First Chronicles chapter 7 verse 20. Chapter 7 verse 20 and 20 to 23. So you can find out the foolish man here. From the 20, remember it, the sons of Ephraim, the were uh, Sudela, the, the bear his son, Tahas his son, the Eladat his son, and Tahat his son, uh, Jabat his son, uh, Sudela his son, and Ezer and Eliot, the men of Gath who were born in that land killed them because they came down to take away their cattle. Then Ephraim, their father, the mount many days, and his brethren came to comfort him. And when he went to in to his wife, she conceived and the bore a son, and he called his name the Beria, the because the tragedy had come upon his house. Yeah, there are two sons. The, from the uh, Sudella, right? The Ezer and Eliot. Ezer and Eliot. So, but the Bible said they were dead. Why? Why they were dead? Verse 21. The men of God who were born in that land killed them because they came down to take away their cattle. The cattle, the animals. Okay, look at me. The Ezer El Elliot, uh, maybe they want to snatch the animal because maybe the animals were expensive. So they tried to steal. So they came down to Gath and they tried to snatch, but they were killed by men of Gath. Okay, for what they died? Hmm? For what? For animals. How miserable and how foolish, how wasteful. For animals, they die. All of us, we die, but the content of death is different. Hmm? Content is different. So we have to think of carefully. Why Judas died? Because he betrayed Jesus. How shameful. But how about the poor? Why he died? Because of gospel. How honorable. Right? What kind of death do you want? Some brothers, some brother died when he played a game. <laughs> do you know the in Korea, uh, the Filipinos like the basketball, right? Also, the Korean people also like the basketball. And also, the soccer. They are so like. Do you know, the, the, whenever we have uh, the World Cup, so the, when they watch TV, uh, the soccer game, someone die. The heart shock. <laughs> Why he die? Because of soccer. How foolish. If one brother died because of heart shock when he saw the TV, how shameful forever in front of God, right? God will ask, what did you do until your death? How many people did you save? What did you do for God? What did you do for church? God will ask. Our death will answer, right? Our death, our death can be answered to the Lord. Paul, let's think about the death of Paul. Yes, his death is answered. 
Through his death, we come to know that what did he do? Ah, he served the Lord for God's glory. How can we how can we know? He died for God's glory. So, can okay, look at here, next paragraph. When they tried to snatch cattle of Gath, they were killed by the men of Gath. They got lost their life because of animal. Because of this happening, the Ephraim was so sad several days because the curse came to house of Ephraim. We must think about what we should live now. If they died, to enlarge the kingdom of God, or if they died after they lived for the glory of God, their, their life, the, maybe their life the, became glorious, right? Yeah. But they died because of animal. How sad huh, is it? This is not only for past, but also it can happen to us in our time. Many people try to spend their only one life for worthless things nowadays. Those who risk their life for pleasure in this world and those who risk their life for entertainment, those who risk their life for sports, those who risk their life for study. Yeah. Do not have a misunderstanding. As a student, we have to study hard, right? But this is not purpose. Yes, we have to work hard to feed family, right? But Work is not purpose. Hmm? The how many away, uh, the, uh, many throw away important things for worldly things, even though they get the whole world, but if they get lost their life, how wasteful. Yeah. Page five. Hmm. Okay, let's open your Bible. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 7. Isaiah chapter 32, the verse 7. To 8. Okay, let's read together. You are my the hiding <coughs> hiding place. Mm, 32 verse 7. Okay, 7 to 8. Yeah, this uh, uh, misprinting here. Anyway, Isaiah chapter 32, verse 7 to 8, but this English, uh, the verses are wrong. Okay, so the police change. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 7 to 8. Let me read. Uh, okay, register it together. Also, the schemes of the scammer are evil. He devises wicked plans to destroy the poor with the lying words, even when the needy speaks justice. But a generous man devises the generous things, and by generously, generosity he shall stand. Yeah. So, which means mm, generous man. Yeah, generous man. He in this verse, generous man means the Christian who got saved. Christian. So because we are Christian, that's why we, uh, uh, the we desires, the we desire, the work of Christ, right? Because we are Christians, because we got, because we are the same people. That's why, the we are, the willing to do, God's will, huh? God's work. Yeah, this is natural. Okay, look at the handout, page 5. Demas, he loved the world instead of the ministry of the Lord. Finally, he departed from the Lord. Where do we invest our power, the time, and talent now? Demas went to Thessalonica because he loved the world, but we must do our best to save unbelievers. The saved people must use everything for the glory of God only. We must consume everything for the Lord and die for him. For what did you live until now, and for what will you die? We must not hear that Christian die due to fight in movie theater. We must not hear that Christian die 
when they went to picnic. Sometimes uh, some brothers and sisters went to picnic and they met the car accident. Not for gospel, but for picnic. How shameful, right? If we die when we evangelize, how good it is. Actually, among the brothers and sisters, uh, I know the one brother yeah, the in Korea. He is dying. Actually, he got saved in hospital. So before he died, the, by, uh, the Christian who got saved, he listened to the gospel in hospital and he got saved. And he, is not, he was not able to go out from hospital because uh, he is dying. But he realized his salvation, uh, he realized God's salvation, he got saved, and he had received the one hope yeah, before he entered the heaven. What? He had decided to evangelize in hospital. So before he died, he tried to meet every patient before he died. He did his best to preach gospel in hospital and he died. How honorable. Even though his life was very short as a Christian, but how about their life in front of God, his life? How precious, right? He died when he evangelized. What kind of the death do we want? So if we die when we evangelize, how good it is. We must not die at the place where we can hide the glory of the Lord. For example, even though we don't die, if Jesus returned tonight, but at the time when we have a gambling, how shameful in front of God. When Jesus returned tonight at the time if we commit a sin, how shameful in front of God. Right? Please think about your end. If our end, uh, if we make our end good, every time that we have to do our best. Why? Because we don't know what time he will come, right? Only we can know time is already done. But we don't know exact time. That's why every moment we have to do our best. That's why the Bible said, be watchful. Wake up. Be ready. Hmm? Yeah. This is very important. Okay, see, the things Christian must buy. Then what should we buy? The truth. Yeah. As a Christian, so the focus is that as a Christian, because already we uh, had realized the truth, right? So already we got saved. So after salvation or so, we have to buy the truth again and again. He who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. Okay, please open your Bible. Luke chapter 22, verse 36. Luke chapter 22, verse 36. Look at the 22, the verse 36. Okay, uh, let's read together. Then he said to them, But now he who has money back, let him take it. And likewise, a knapsack, uh, the knapsack, and he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. So two, uh, to, what does this mean? So if, if you don't have a sword, the please buy sword after you sell your garment. Yeah. The garment, the here. And he who has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. So to buy sword, he had to sell garment. At the time, the people of Israel, at night, very cold. So uh, about the, their garment, at night, their garment will be mattress. Huh? Yeah. 
mat the, for sleeping, and daytime, the dress is a dress, and at night, the mattress, that's why garment is very important. But without garment, especially at the daytime, they have to cover their skin with the garment because the sunlight is, is very strong. That's why here in Philippines also, whenever you drive the motor on the, the street, the, even though the weather is very hot, you need a jacket, right? To hide your skin because it's very painful. So at that time, the, the place of Israel, very hot weather, but to hide their skin from the sunlight, they used garment. And at night, the, to keep their body the warm. But without garment, at night very hot, at, at daytime very hot, at night very cold. But Jesus said, sell your garment and buy sword. Because sword is more important. So for example, there is an enemy. Even though we have a garment, but without sword, we cannot fight, right? So in front of an enemy, what is more important, garment or sword? Sword. As a Christian, what is more important? Words of God. Truth. That's why Ephesians chapter 6, take the sword. Take the sword of the Holy Spirit, right? Ephesians chapter 6, let's open Bible. The Ephesians, uh, chapter 6, verse 17. 17. Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 17. Okay. Uh, let us read together. 3, 2, 1. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the, the word of God. Take word of God. By truth, same meaning, okay? Yes. Okay, so uh, return to the, the main chapters. So, uh, he sold his whole wares to buy also purse. The Matthew chapter 13. Okay, let's look at the Bible, the, another chapter. Matthew chapter 13. Verse 44. Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. 44. 44 to 46. 44 to 46. Okay. Uh, Remember it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which your man found and hid. And for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant the seeking beautiful pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Yeah. So to get pearl, this person, he sold everything, right? Why? Pearl is more precious. Yeah. Like that, as unbelievers, okay, look at me, as unbelievers, the what is most important in their life? No? The wealth, the house, money, or salvation? Salvation, right? But why the many don't receive the salvation now? Because they don't know why salvation is important, right? So, okay, look at me. What is the purpose of Bible seminar? First time, the almost newcomers, they don't know why salvation is important, right? So little by little, the, we have to do our best to let them understand why salvation is good to them. That's why evangelism is not easy. The without help of the Holy Spirit, even though we do our best to let them understand about that, yeah, they can understand through our knowledge. We need the whole the anyway help of the Holy Spirit anyway, but also also there are our part we have to do, right? 
Yeah, so that's why the listeners have to listen from the session one, uh, one by one. Why? Because uh, from the session one, preacher, the, they have to do their best to explain the why we need the salvation, the why we need to listen to the Bible seminar, right? Yeah. So uh, that's why the, we need the, this process then we have to let them be ready in their heart. Ah, that's why we need a salvation. So according to the listeners, uh, sometimes uh, the way to access, way to uh, access have to be different. For example, uh, about the Jesus, according to the listeners, the beginning of the message of Jesus was different, right? In front of Nicodemus, because Nicodemus was religious people. He was Bible teacher. So to him, no need to explain about the God's existence. Why? Already he believed. Also, he had many knowledge about the Bible. But what did Jesus say to him? Uh, assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John chapter 3, verse 3, and John chapter 3, and 5, you must be born again. Verse 10, you don't know, even though you are the teacher of Israel, the Jesus pointed out their religious misunderstanding. But Samaritan woman, she was not a religious person, right? What was her the problem? Even though she got married many times, but she was not able to find out the real happiness, right? So in front of the water, water was very good uh, the material to explain. That's why whenever we have a Bible seminar, the pastors are using more presentation or a more video clip, uh, like water. So in front of water, Jesus taught, yeah, like this water. Even though you drink, you will be thirsty again. But I am, hmm? the, if you drink, the eternal life, you will not be thirsty anymore, right? Yeah. So Jesus explained about the life. Why? The interesting, interesting topic of Samaritan woman was life. So according to the listeners, yeah. so topic can be different, but purpose is same. What purpose? We have to let them think about why salvation is important. Right? Yeah. So, as uh, inviters, as uh, brother leaders, whenever they conduct, a, whenever they listen to the Bible seminar, if you talk like this, huh? the, after they listen to the session one, session two, or before they listen to the session one, session two, if you talk together, yeah. Yeah, if, you get if you get saved, yeah, you will be happy. Hmm? If someone is very uh, mm, the difficult, or if they, if someone cannot feel the happiness, then we can introduce right Bible seminar. If you listen to the Bible seminar, you can get happiness. Look, I am happy. But as an inviter, if we are not happy, this message is not effective. If we evangelize with uh, anxiety and <laughs> sorrow, how can they trust in our message, right? Yeah, look, I am happy even though I have nothing. If you get saved, you will be happy. Through our life, through our so emotion, and uh, like this, we can evangelize. Anyway, that's why we need the wisdom. Uh, whenever we uh, have a Bible seminar or whenever we evangelize. Yeah. Mm. So, so we have to uh, help them to uh, think about the importance of eternal life. Hmm? Yeah. So the, also for this, we have to pray. So session one, session two, session three, or more session four, the whenever they are listening to the Bible seminar, they can see who God is. So actually, we have to introduce two things about the God. First, God's existence. And second, God's attitude. 
What is God's attitude? Justice and love. So historical evidence is a very good example to show why. Garden of Eden, Noah's Ark, and Sodom and Gomorrah. The people of Israel. We can see the God's existence and also we can see God's attitude. Then the listeners can think little by little. Ah, without God, what happened to me? Without salvation, what happened to me? Oh, I have many sins. Without forgiveness of sins, what happened to me? Little by little, they can think about the spiritual things from the physical thing. Little by little, they can change their mind. So as an inviter, so we have to be sensitive about that. If he is listening carefully or if he is just enjoying the Bible seminar. Sometimes some listener answer, well, yes, very nice, exciting, and I got many knowledge. Yes, I want to live for the God. Yeah, because he thought this is just religious activities. That's why we have to be sensitive in front of listeners. So to check up their real mind and their real situation, their real condition, what should we do? We have to talk. We have to talk. Not only pastors, but also inviters. Hmm? Yeah. The listening here in the building is not all. We have to talk. For example, some, some listener that listened to the Bible seminar yesterday. So today, daytime, I have a time. Okay, let's have a lunch together. Then during the lunch time, we can talk. How about the Bible seminar yesterday, the session one? The what did you learn? Hmm? Have you ever thought about the eternal life? Then we can talk. So for this, we need effort. So without effort of inviters, we cannot expect good evangelism. Do you understand? Even the preacher is preaching powerfully, but if inviters don't cooperate, we cannot expect good result. Right? So anyway, so we have to help them to think about, about the eternal things. Why we need the salvation. So this man, why he sold everything? Why? Because he realized that pearl is expensive. Right? They tried to get pearl, he sold everything. Do you know, uh, sometimes to test their mind, among the listeners, sometimes some uh, unexpected event happened to listeners. For example, he listened to the Bible seminar well until session four. But uh, suddenly, the, he said, oh, tomorrow some visitor came to my house, come to my house. I have to help them. Oh, what should I do? Sometimes this unexpected situation happened, right? Why God allow this situation? To let us know what is their motivation or what is their real condition. Even though some unexpected schedule will come tomorrow, but if he is really willing to be saved, he will come. He can arrange schedule. Okay, don't worry, I will come. I will arrange. Why? He thinks salvation is more important later than visitors. But if he choose visitors rather than salvation, at the time we have to know that ah, he is not ready. He is not ready yet. Then what should we do? We have to do again. They try to test their condition. Sometimes God show this situation. At the time, no need to be disappointed. Why? Just we realize real mind of them. Right? We have to know exactly then we can help them. Do you know the, who is a good doctor? To be a good doctor, what should they do? They have to check well, right? Good checkup will make good medicine. But checkup is wrong, the doctor can give wrong medicine, right? Even though he is a sick headache. He had a headache, but the doctor gave the medicine for stomach. <laughs> then uh, still headache. So for good evangelism, we have to check up. 
So, well, as a brother leader, so you have a chance to have a counsel. Do you know the, who can be good counselor? Good listeners. We have to listen first before we speak. Why? We have to listen about the, their uh, misunderstanding. Don't argue about their misunderstanding. Even though they are saying wrong answer, just listen fully and answer. Even though they are saying wrong things. Why? We have to know their real mind. Do not be afraid to listen about the wrong, understand why. It is much better to know their real mind. Then we can help them exactly. Do you understand? Am I right? So, for example, after Bible seminar, as a brother leader, you have a chance to have a concept, but not a long time, just 20 minutes or 30 minutes. But someone is very active to tell first, right? So as a the counselor, though because we have a responsibility to do something, that's why well, I have to tell something, but he's willing to tell. <laughs> Don't worry, just listen. And take a note and just let pastor know about this information. Okay? Yeah. Checking is more important. That's why the we need also the counseling, right? Yeah. Because uh, as a preacher here, whenever we have a Bible seminar, uh, because we cannot hear their real mind, only their reaction only, right? That's why the personal counseling is very important. That's why live Bible seminar is more powerful rather than DVD. Why? DVD preacher, they cannot check. The can preacher come out from the TV. Yeah, without, there is no option at the time that we can use the DVD player, but this is not main way, side way. We have to think about this is side way. Right? Yeah. So, uh, also the DVD also very helpful and useful, but also we have to uh, think about the carefully about their real situation. Yeah. So I suggest well, if some listeners are listening to DVD, yeah, they need a counseling, 100%. Yeah. So, so also the please remind, because I, I saw the many the situation since I got saved. Yeah. So, uh, it is much better to ask and also talk with the pastors about the good evangelism, right? Yeah. So, okay. And Proverbs chapter twenty-three, verse twenty-three. Uh, here, buy the truth and do not sell it. Also, wisdom and the instruction and understanding. Yeah, buy the truth and do not sell it. Yeah. So number one, the Bible tells us like that because there is the truth. However, the many think that there is no truth. The background of the reason why relativism the, has come. Let's think about the situation if there is no absolute truth. Page six. Then what is the truth? Yeah. I will skip. The verses only look at the John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I am the way, the truth. Yeah. I am the truth. Yeah. So, the, what is the truth? Jesus. Yeah. And also, words of God. Your world is truth. Also, John chapter 17, verse 17. And so Jesus is truth himself. So God is the truth, and God is the God of the truth. The Trinity God is the truth, and the word, of, word, the word that God has given is the truth. And number three, the what is the content of truth is uh, in detail. Existence of God is truth, and people have a purpose of existence, and people exist to get the eternal life, and people must get saved. There are heaven and hell, so we must be born again so that we may enter the heaven. 
The born again Christian should live for the glory of God only. The born again Christian should be connected with the church. And we shall preach the gospel and we should shine the light of the Lord to people. We should be separated from sin and we should do our best to get the reward. Yeah. Number four, the what is the advice in the world, uh, in this world? Uh, what, should we sh uh, what we should buy the truth is the advice. Buy truth and do not sell it. Yeah. We can see that the deed of buying of people. Page 7. The people can buy a car paying their money. The people buy a house, another buy a gun. Someone bought a slave long ago, and someone buys a poor, someone is looking for dress and will buy suitable the dress, and someone buys a food. Why? There is a purpose, right? To use. The people are buying what they need by paying the money. Then, uh, they buy a house, why? Dress, why? Food, why? They want to live there. They want to eat. They want to wear. Yeah. So like this, the advice of the Lord is that we should buy the truth. So Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And in all you are getting, get understanding. Yeah. So we must get spiritual things by uh, sacrificing the physical things. Yeah. The, what we buy means that we can make it my own. So it was another things before we buy, but if we buy it, it will be ours. If we buy a house, after that, we can sell it again. After we buy a car, uh, we can sell it after we buy, but we must not sell the truth after we buy it. So actually, uh, as a Christian, let's think about this lesson. Yeah. So to buy some materials, we have to spend money, right? Yeah, like this. To get the words of God. So we have to spend our time. Sometimes we have to spend the money. Oh, but the travel fee, right? Transportation fee. And also we, con we have to consume the time to come to church. Why? Why we are willing to consume the time and money to come to church. Why? Because the word of God is more important. Right? This is natural. But the someone is very difficult to consume the time and money for church. They have to think about the, their faith. They have to think about the, their life. They have a big misunderstanding because they think another is more important than the words of God. Right? That's why Bible said, do not sell the truth. Yeah, our salvation never be lost, right? We, our salvation cannot be lost. Our salvation is eternal security, eternal salvation. But our Christian life can be the cold, right? Yeah. Our Christian life can be the dead, even though we got saved. Why? Because we are selling the truth. Yeah, we exchange the truth to another physical things. So number five, after Jesus became ours, we must not sell Jesus again. Actually, in fact, we cannot do that, right? If we got saved. How can we deny Jesus? The Judas is cut out, sold Jesus with their silver coins, 30 silver coins. If the word of the truth became ours, we must not throw away the word of the truth. In fact, if we really got saved, we cannot do that. After we have accepted Jesus, if we are far from the Lord because of money of the world, it means that we exchange Jesus to money. If we are far from the Lord because of wine, it means that we exchange the Lord to wine. If we are far from the Lord because of the pleasure of the world, it means that we exchange the Lord to the pleasure of the world. This can happen in my life. Sometimes we exchange Jesus to gain. We exchange the Lord to sports. We exchange the Lord to money. We exchange the Jesus to girl and boy. So this can happen in our life if we don't be careful. 
Those who exchange the Lord to wine and car, those who exchange the Lord to lustful mind and house, those who exchange uh, their wife to drug, then what will happen? Okay, number six, the buy the truth, which means get the truth. Yeah. Mm. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1 to 4. Yeah, please open your Bible. Isaiah chapter 55, 55, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1 to 4. Okay, let me read. Oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without the price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread? And your ways is for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good. And let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me here, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting the covenant with you, the sure mercies of David. Indeed, I have given him as witness to the people, a leader and commander for the people. Yes. So, so which means by salvation. So we already bought the salvation, right? Yeah. So we already got salvation. And by Christ, by the truth in fellowship, get the truth. By the good way of Christian life, by the Bible, by the good Christian books, we should read carefully and learn about it. We should buy materials for Christian life, things that church must buy in our generation. Yeah. So there are many things that we have to buy spiritually. Okay, so uh, number seven, those who sell the truth. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter two verse seventeen. Just look at the handout. For we are not as so many, the feddling the word of God, but as of the sincerity, but as from God we speak in the sight of God in Christ. So those who use the word as an instrument for Means of gain. Yeah. The first Timothy chapter six verse five. Unless uh, ramblings of men of the corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, who suppose that godliness is a means of gain, the from such the withdraw yourself. Yeah. And harsh discipline, discipline is discipline. Harsh discipline is for him. Who forsake uh, the way? The Pro Proverbs chapter fifteen, the verse ten. Harsh discipline is for him who forsakes the way. The which means, uh, the in other words, if we disobey, right? Disobedience means the selling the truth, right? So, as a Christians, if we disobey, then there will be God's discipline. Yeah. If we sell the truth, right? Okay. Page nine. Mm. Number eight. If we buy a foot, we should eat it. If we buy a car, we should drive it. Then the, these are useful to us. If we buy a house, we should live there. Like this, if we buy the truth, we should think that the truth is our house. We should eat and drink the truth, and we should live in the truth. Yeah, which means, yeah, look at me. If we buy the materials, more cell phone, laptop, more car, and the motor, why we bought? Because we use, right? Because we want to use. Like this, the Bible said the, we have to buy truth, the, which means we have to live in truth, yeah. like a house. That's why the Bible said the house of God is church. And what is the foundation? 
the truth, the pillar of truth. Okay, look at the Bible. Uh, first, Timothy. Chapter 3, verse 15. Yeah, first Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. Okay, this verse is a very important verse. Okay, 15, read us read together, 3 to 1. But if we are not, uh, if we, I am delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar of pillar and ground of the truth. Yes, okay. This is a concept of church. What is a church? House, the house of God. The house of God, which is the church of the living God. And what is the house of God? What is a church? The pillar and ground of the truth. Okay, do you understand? That's why we bought the truth. Yeah. That's why we have to live in the truth. Where? Church. And also we can learn the truth in the church. Why? Because church is the ground and the pillar of the truth. Yeah. Foundation of church is truth. That's why that we have to abide in the church. Yeah. So, yeah, look at the verse. Second Corinthians chapter 6, verse 7. Yeah, please look at the handout here. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 7. By the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. The, by the word of truth, by the power of God. Yeah. These are connected. So, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 4. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Your son shall come from Afra, and your daughters shall be nurses. At your side. So we must fight for the truth of gospel. The gospel is the truth. So we should be united to preach the gospel. So we should be united and be one for the truth. Yeah, so in Judge chapter 5, the people of Israel were united with the people of Canaan and they fought against enemy. Yeah, we should implant the truth to our children. So, okay, look at me. As a brothers, uh, we have to keep the truth uh, for Philippines. Yeah. So to keep the truth, the, we have to learn the Bible again and again. That's why the, we need to the, publish the books uh, about the ceremonies. Also we, that's why we are recording the ceremonies and we are the, making many articles. Why? To keep the truth. Yeah. To keep the truth, right? So, uh, if, we, if brothers don't keep the truth, the work of the Holy Spirit can be moved uh, to another Christian. Right? That's why the, we have to keep the truth. Yeah. So, uh, that's why the Bible study is very important. So do you know the, the reason why the, we have to learn the Bible in detail like this? So we started to study the book of Matthew 2018, right? 18, 19, 20, and fourth year. But still, chapter 10. So, what is the last chapter of Matthew? Chapter 28. Still, there are many things that we have to learn. Why we have to learn the Bible like this in detail? Yeah. Because uh, uh, there are important truths that we have to keep. Yeah. Uh, that's why, you know, even though so you think that uh, is this time is the helpful to me? Yeah, but even though you cannot feel now, but the real by little you can feel why this time is important. Yeah. Because we are learning the Bible together, that's why we can keep our heart together. And also that we can live in truth together. And we can be refreshed together. And also the brothers have to be united uh, in truth, not by human affection. We have to be united through the words of God. Without this, do you know what will happen? There will be grouping. 
uh, that brother is good to me. So little by little they will be grouping among the brothers. So through what they are gathered? Through words of God? Through human affection. Human affection. This can be dangerous in the church. We have to be united in truth. Then how? Through the words of God. There is no other way. Even though we have some uh, exciting program, well, delicious food, yeah, delicious food is also very important. I like, but because of the pandemic, we don't do. Before, we had many time, right? But that, that is not main, right? That is the side. What is main? Huh? Korean noodle? The pizza? What is the main? Words of God. But the brothers gather together. So very exciting. And then uh, we can feel that we are close more. But without words of God, this gathering can be weak again. You know? We can be united in truth. There is no another way. That's why the we must not forget this basic principle. But our flesh, sometimes our flesh does not like the truth. That's why the Bible said, don't sell truth. Do you know the why the many churches were disappeared in England? They sent many missionaries to preach the gospel, right? Before. But now, very difficult to find out the real church. Why? Because they sold truth. They exchanged entertainment. They exchanged the truth to entertainment. Little by little, they had accepted entertainment in church. So now, many church buildings became the restaurant and the movie theater. No truth. Where is the truth? That's why the brothers are very important. If we, we have to keep the truth in the church. Right? Do, do you understand? Yeah. That's why the, uh, the we have to uh, educate um, about this. Okay. So, uh, in Korea also, the missionaries came to Korea to preach the gospel. So they educated. And then, God brought them. Even though God brought every missionaries, but gospel was spread powerfully. Why? The brothers were educated in truth, not in human infection. In truth, and they decided to keep the truth. That's why God used them. And as a, the Filipino brothers, what should we do? So we have to do our best to keep the truth. Even though there are many persecutions and many trials and temptation, right? Then how to keep the truth? We have to learn. We have to learn. We have to learn. So we have to learn the Bible. And also we need more many uh, the ministries uh, in Philippines. Hmm? This is not by accident. Yeah. So our brothers have to do. Okay? Especially especially the for hearing the Bisaya regions, right? So, the actually, in fact, here in Negros, the most many brothers now, hmm? all together. But also, the Sea Church, Dumagi Church, also Pamplona, also the Bagong Silang. Also now, the mission branch was established in the Bacolo, and also Silai, and also Sagai. The people are being saved now. The many brothers are here. That's why. So we conducted a summary to here, right? Why? Do you know? Well, because many gathering here. Also, that, that can be reason. But another important reason is that many brothers are here. Then we have important responsibility. Right? We have no time to enjoy the world anymore. So we have to do our best to be used by God. We have received the responsibility. But if we don't use this, and if we exchange this, the chance to another physical things, God will snatch the chance. Yeah. The Bible said, the by the truth, 
and don't sell the truth. So we can get many lessons. So as a also pastor, I had meditated that we must not sell the chance also, right? Huh? Don't give the chance to another. Hmm? Catch a chance to use by God. Okay? Yeah, so you can do it. Okay, so uh, number nine. Those who hold the truth tightly will enter the world where the truth rules over. Okay, next page. The finally, page 10. Make friends for yourselves by a righteous mammon. Yeah, maybe you know more about this uh, the content. The by the spirit of people. The we should buy spirit by sacrifice of our body. Which means sometimes for evangelism, the we have to spend our money, right? Sometimes we have to support the fair to come to Bible seminar. Sometimes we have to prepare the food for them, right? Then we can make eternal friends, right? Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, so the main chapter today, the buy the truth and do not sell it. Uh, through this main the verse today, the we can get the many lessons. Yeah, so, so if you have a chance, please meditate to yourself again. And uh, I hope that our brothers uh, will be those who keep the truth in the church. Yeah, then God will use you for gospel. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's pray. Our heavenly and merciful Father God who loves us, thank you for giving us the great chance to study the Bible together with our sincere brothers. Uh, today that we have learned about the truth. So please help us, uh, please the help us to buy the truth always and please help us not to sell the truth. There are many temptations in, the, in this world and also many trials. Even though there are many difficulties, please help us to do our best. <coughs> please help us to do our best to, uh, to keep the truth in the church and please the let us do our best to preach the gospel to many people who are not saved. The thank you, Lord, that we depend everything in your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, thank you so much.